There are those who have had trouble uh, making char cloth and having uh, a few pieces uh, come out crispy and hard. We're going to see if we can do it and make every single piece be a nice piece of char cloth. I have here a 12 inch by 12 inch watch cloth. I cut it up into pieces to fit my tin. Uh, before I cut it up this was one complete washcloth. It made 12 pieces that will fit my round tin. I placed the washcloth in the tin. Notice I have it stacked. One old, barely fits in there. I had to kind of give it a little mash a little bit there. I also have this is the, I cut the round, uh, come off a tin can, I guess, a quart can or something, I don't know what it was, but good size, fits my tin. I covered it with aluminum foil just for the heck of it. Uh, you might can, you can see the ripple of it. And I noticed that uh, creosote build up, sometimes I'll get it at the top of your can, and it don't seem to get on the tin foil. I placed this on top. Notice it is actually in there stacked taller than the uh, than the tin. Uh, even the cloth is stacked taller and I put this little weight on top of it to hold it down so hopefully it won't curl. And I can mash that down, make it fit, put my top on. Ready to go. We are going to make some char cloth a different way in uh, this tin happens to be one inch deep round tin about four and three quarter across and I have a quarter inch hole in the top. I have here an ordinary Altoids tin. Notice it's been used before burned. I have a quarter inch hole in it also which tells me I could use a little better hole in the uh, round tin, it being larger than this Altoids tin. Uh, open the Altoids tin, I have here, I think it's about eight, seven or eight, I don't know how many it is, about eight or ten pieces of uh, denim. I cut it to fit this Altoids tin for this demonstration. This denim is, somebody gave this to me, it came from a Carhartt very heavy Blue jeans. It's very heavy. That's uh, thick. I don't know how much it, how heavy it is, but it's very thick. We're going to try it. Uh, this is all I have of this, so this will be the first time on this kind. I don't know if it's got anything in it. If it's got anything, uh, fabric softener or anything in it, it may not work. So we're going to try it anyway and see if it, see if we can, uh, what happens. See, it doesn't even fill up my tin. Therefore, I'm going to put some more weight on it, make it fill up the tin have these things I made out of the bottom of an Altoids tin. I uh, put some tin foil on some of them and uh, just for the heck of it, see what would happen to the tin foil. I'm going to place this here on there. I had to bend them a little bit make them fit. There's another one. Two. Three. Four. That makes it taller than the, than the uh, Altoids tin, so let's close the top. We're ready to cook some char cloth. I have here my fire making place. I have a old grill here uh, that is actually usable. And I got me a pan. They tell me it's a roasting pan. Uh, I probably got it out of the trash pile somewhere. I don't know, but you can get them at Dollar General or something. I put my uh, tins in there and stack this wood around it to show just show you how I got it stacked. I usually just put the things in there and stack it around it but just for video purposes I'm gonna do it like this. Uh, my stack is ready. I'm going to cheat and use some accelerant on my uh, wood there just for time purposes in this video. I'm going to use a match and some accelerant to get my fire going there just to do it quick. Uh, some people will do these things and trick the video a little bit and you may think I'm doing that because uh, you can see a lot of starting and stopping because I do not know how to fast forward. So just bear with me. Now that I have saturated my uh, wood with some accelerant, not gasoline, do not use gasoline. 
I'm going to strike a match. Do this one-handed. Let's see if a match will light it. There it is. Notice that accelerant that I have on there. It's not uh, gas. If you had gas on that, it explode in your face. This is a much slower accelerant. Let me light some more around it. This is cheating, by the way. A, a, a woodsman uh, fire starter would not, would never use a match. But uh, let's see how that's going to burn. Be right back. And I now have a fire going. Uh, there's a breeze blowing. Here's a tip. I try to do this real late in the evening. It's a little early now and the wind is blowing and when the wind is blowing it'll blow out your flame when it starts coming out of the top of the hole because I like to see the flame come out the top of the hole and get real tiny very tiny and uh, and then go out and then it's done it's just a certain amount of satisfaction I think with seeing a, a nice little flame coming out of the hole in the tin it looks like my fire's burning down some I'm uh, using some uh, dead wood so I'm gonna put some uh, I'm going to put some more wood around my fire, and kind of, but I don't want to cover up my hole in my tins though. You can see the, the flame, there's a flame, coming out of the hole, if you can see it. Uh, sometimes that flame, will, it'll light when it gets up about an inch from the hole. And uh, by the way, I think that round tin, I said it was an inch deep, I think it's an inch and a half. It's an inch and a half deep, and uh, about four and three quarters across. We'll be right. Okay, I got flame coming out of the holes. Uh, it's a uh, wind's blowing and it's hard to see it. That one coming out of the round tin, you can see smoke come out and then it gets a little higher, about an inch and a half up. You see the, the gas igniting. Uh, the Altoids tin, uh, it's, it's kind of hard to see the flame, but there is flame coming from the hole if the wind doesn't blow it out. Now, if it blows out, it'll reignite. I like to have a little fire close to the hole so that it'll reignite. And if, it, uh, if the wind blows it out, we'll uh, light it back up with a match or something. Now I think you can see the flame very well out of the tall flame. Big one coming out of that uh, large tin. And uh, Altoid's tin is not blazing as hard because what it is, if I had a little bigger hole in that uh, larger tin, plus the Altoid's tin is not airtight around the hinges and everything. So there's some, uh, there's some gas that's coming out around that Altoid's tin also. But... We're going to see what we got in a few minutes. Let's say uh, how towards 10. Let me see if I can get it lit back again. Let's see if it'll... Let me... Oh, drop my stick. Oh, here we go. Let's see what will happen. I think that how towards 10 may be... May be ready. The frame got real little, and I was too late with my camera here. And uh, so we'll watch the other one a minute. The Altoids tin, the flame got real little and went out. The other one, the flame has gone out, but the wind blew it out. There's still gases. I can see the smoke coming from the hole. We're going to try to reignite that, and I'm going to take the Altoids tin out. Let's see if I can light that, uh, that thing back up. i got a match on my tongue. See if it'll light. There we go. Now, see the flame coming back out of the tin? It's just, you can tell it much better when it's done if the wind is very very calm not blowing at all and that uh, flame will get very tiny I'm gonna show you because I'm gonna keep reigniting it with a match all right see that flame getting smaller and smaller and smaller it's going to get so small that you will barely see the flame if the wind doesn't blow it out that's why I have these matches to keep reigniting it for demonstration I like to see the little flame come out of the top there by the way let me mention if you want to learn about fire, how to start fire, how to make char cloth, all kinds of ways, on YouTube, search David West, W-E-S-T channel, David West channel, and you will find lots and lots of how to make char cloth, how to start fires, flints, how to make your own uh, striker flint striker steel out of uh nicholson file and such notice that fi flame getting littler it's getting littler i'm gonna let it go here now it went out i'm gonna reignite it 
Let's see if my match will light in there. I got it on these tongs. Oh. Let's see if it'll light. I don't think. Lay my match down close to the hole. It is not, yes it is, I think it might be a little flame, let's see. No, it's a, there's a little flame coming out of it, I think. Let's see, it might be on the match. It is. Okay, that fire has went out. I can tap it and make some, and don't even smoke come out of that hole when I tap it. It's done. Let's take it off. Took it out, got it sitting right there. Let's see, I, now bet you some smoke will come out of that hole when I tap it. Yes, it does. That's not too much. I believe it's done. Let's just leave it like this. We're going to let it. I could have left it on the fire a little longer, but that's, that's probably done. Let's uh, let it cool for about 20 minutes, and then we'll see what we got. By the way, at some point, I did let my uh, lid down some of the way to knock the wind off of my, uh, my uh, char cloth fire. So if I had me some piece of tin or something to stand up beside my fire and move it around where I wanted it, I believe I'd keep the wind off of it, and it would be more entertaining. Okay, I'm all set up here where you can see it good, I hope. This is the round tan, obviously. Let's open it up and see what we got. Okay, it was up to the top. It's not up to the top anymore. Let's see, let's take this off. I had that on there. Let me take the washcloth out and see what we have. Now, it's uh, 12 pieces of washcloth. Washcloth is thick. Let's see this. I forgot which is the top and the bottom. This is the top, I think. Let me tear just a little bit off here. I like to pull it instead of tear it because it makes more strings. Let's just pull a little bit off and see how it looks. Wow, is that nice or what? I don't know if that's top or bottom. There's a piece of charcoal. Let's see here. It is soft and it is flimsy. Let's put that piece aside. That's flimsy. That's real nice. Let's tear this piece up just to show for Let's tear that one like that. It doesn't make as many little strings, but we're going to try it different ways. Pull it a little bit and then tear it. There we go. That's nice. Okay, let's get one off the other side. And see what we got. Flimsy, soft, Looks just like the first one. All the bottom, every single piece. I bet you. Let's try one out the middle. Folks like to try them out the middle. There was twelve of them here, by the way. I'm uh, kind of tearing them up for demonstration purposes. I would normally just put them in a can, tear them when I need them. That's a nice char cloth. Middle, flimsy. Looks good. And that is the round tin with the washcloth inside. Now the Altoids tin. Now sometimes you have to, this one shuts real tight. Sometimes you have to uh, pull this out and uh, get a little bit tighter. I opened this one a while ago so I didn't take it out but I took them tins. I forgot how many tins I put on it. I was seeing that. That's one, two, three, that's four tin tops, and there's eight pieces, I counted them before I put them in there, eight pieces of that uh, denim. Okay, it doesn't have, this is that Carhartt thick denim, it doesn't have much curl, got a little bit of curl on that side, but uh, let's see what we got on this bottom or whatever it is, let's see. That's one piece off of one side, bottom or top one, I don't know. Let's uh, pull this one apart. Looks pretty good. Nice and flimsy. Looks good. Let's try another one from somewhere. That's the whole stack. I believe every piece is good. Ain't but eight here. See, that's a little... See, it's a little, well, it could be a little flimsier, maybe. 
Let's see what we got. There's a, looks like good dental char cloth to me. It's not stiff. I can fold it. See, let me, let me get another piece and show you. Let's get a piece out of the middle or something. There's some one. If I can fold it, I have discovered that if I can fold it like this, mash a fold in it like that, and it doesn't break or be crisp, it's pretty done. See, that's pretty good, pretty good char cloth. I believe every piece made which we broiled it instead of frying it, which means we put the no flame on the bottom of the tin, flame, heat around the sides, and some on top, but none on the bottom where the char cloth would be touching the entire time. Let's see if we can light up some of this char cloth. I have here a piece of that uh, Carhartt denim char cloth. I doubled it over just like it learned to do on the David West channel. Search YouTube for the David West channel, you will learn. I placed it on top. I got a real thin flint there. It works good too. It's a little bigger than you actually need, but it's a. Let's see if it'll strike this up now. Here we go. I'm not getting a good spark now. This is two and a quarter inches size. I like it. I made this one. And there's the. But you said, I'm going to put it out like this. I'm going to put it out. Let's see if we can strike it again. You can do this, by the way, like this. Flip back up. You can do this and strike it over and over and put it out, strike it over and over. Practice. You practice, you get better at it. Let's and I got a little spark there off my flint and it lit it. Okay. Let's try the uh, washcloth. Have a piece of washcloth just random out of the stack. I'm going to pull this one apart. Let's see what happens. I got this against a dark background. I got a towel wrapped around my neck where y'all can see. Okay. I don't need much. I'm just going to use that little edge right there. I'm going to duck. Well, no, I ain't going to double it. I'm just going to put it on there like that. Let's see what happens. Washcloth is thick anyway. Here we go. One strike, washcloth. Let's put it out. I'm going to tell you, there's a lot of people say denim is the best. I beg to differ. Washcloth is one strike. Let's try it again. See if it'll strike one time. There it is. One strike. You cannot beat it. I'm going to put down. I got a glass of water here. I just got this one random out of the stack. It, uh, Trouble washcloth is, uh, you had to kind of buy it, and it ain't cheap. This washcloth here was about, I think, about 75 cents or a dollar. But, uh, you try different kinds of washcloth, it's cheap, but, you know, some ways, the way it'll strike, you just use a little piece. Let's see if it'll one strike light. I think I folded that one, did I? There's your one strike every time. Now, I have seen folks say, let's don't tear it. Let's just fold it over and see if it'll strike on the edge that has no strings hanging off. Let's try it. May or may not. I haven't tried this, actually. Let's see what happens. It took two strikes on that with no, uh, no strings hanging off. Let's see. Whoops, still burning. Let's go down the edge here some. Okay, I just fold it over. Whoop, still burning. That's folded over. It's out now. I just fold it over in a little spot. That could keep a couple of strikes on that one, but it's lit. Cannot beat washcloth is one strike ignite. And that hopefully closes out this video.